Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 16, Problem Set. The directions state, mark the text by underlining keywords and then write an expression using variables and numbers for each statement below. Uh, I'm going to annotate this a little bit differently. Uh, I'm going to try to box in my variables or numbers uh, take out any of the things that I believe are operators, like multi that mean multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, and then I'll underline the uh, question at the end or what I'm actually going to do, just to help out. Uh, so we'll take a look at one, and it says Justin can type W words per minute. So I'm going to box that one in for myself. Uh, Melvin can type four times as many words as Justin. And I see this part right here. I know that there's going to be some multiplication. And then my question, right, or what I have to do, write an expression that represents the rate at which Melvin can type. So the first thing I want to do is identify uh, a couple things in here. I know that Justin is going to equal W because it says Justin can type W words per minute. So that's Justin's typing. Uh, Melvin can type four times as many words as Justin. So I know Melvin uh, is going to be four times what Justin can do. If Justin is W, then Melvin is four times W. So my expression here, because it says expression, so I'm not going to have an equal sign, to solve this is just 4W which means four times W. So in order to find Melvin's, uh, how fast he can type at which rate, I'm going to have to multiply whatever Justin is times four. Now let's take a look at three. And I got a number, D, is decreased, which means subtraction, implies a subtraction, by five, and then doubled. And when I think it doubled, I think two times. So now, a number, D, is decreased by 5 and then doubled. So I know that I have to do this first before I double it, or times 2. Now, uh, because it says and then. It's telling me that this has to take place first, all of this, and then I can multiply it by two or double it. So that's what my expression looks like, but there is another way that you could possibly see it. So I'm going to put an or here, and I'll write it the other way. Uh, this is probably the way that you're going to see it more frequently, but just know that both expressions are correct, and the way I just wrote that was two on the outside, and in parentheses, d minus five, and we know that if there are no operation signs between the number and the parentheses, it means multiplication. Um, so that's what uh, you'll be doing by annotating and then writing the expression using variables and numbers for each of the statements. I uh, hope this helps, and good luck on your problem set.